This is Ben at ITNH, and in this video I'm going to go over how to install profiles for your Mamaki printers. Um, in this case, we're going to be using Mamaki provided profiles. So we'll start off in the web browser and go to mamaki.com slash download. From there, navigate to the inkjet section and pick out your printer. For this video, I'm just going to go with a UJF 3042MK2. Once you select your machine, Towards the bottom, you should see a profile option. From here, you can see how many colors available, the color set, and then the ink type you're using. Select the ink type, and you can go through and just select from a whole variety of Amaki's provided profiles. A lot of these are just based on naming conventions for specific materials they were made on. On this page, we can download them individually or in groups. For now, I'll just download one to show you how to use it. When you download the file, make sure to put it in a centralized location. Mine is currently going to a folder labeled Profiles on my desktop. It's very important to save things to a folder since that's how it installs profiles. It reads a folder instead of individual files. So the next step is to make sure RasterLink is closed because we're opening something else up. In your Windows option, type in Profile Manager and you'll bring up the software for Amaki. Looks just like this. In Profile Manager, we can see what we have available and add and remove things as needed. In this case, we're going to be adding. So let's go, go to the Device Profile Installation button in the top left. We click that. And then it's asking us to find the folder. As I mentioned before, for me, it's just a folder on my desktop. When I click this, it's going to scan the folder for any available profiles in it that are compatible with Rasterlink. Now you can see on the top here is the list of profiles it found. In this case, the one we just downloaded. To install this profile, you simply click on it, click the down arrow, and it moves it down here. Click OK and the installation goes through. At this point, you've installed a new profile and you're ready to go. Simply close out a profile manager, open Rasterlink back up, and it'll be in your selection menu. All right, well that does it for this video. If you have any other questions or thoughts, please check out our other videos.